Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top five monsters for charms. But before I start the video, if you do like the video, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more RuneScape 3 content. Now, before I go into the top five monsters, I do want to show a few other really good methods of obtaining charms. And one of these includes Bork, which is a minigame monster that you can kill in the Chaos Tunnels. And Bork will always drop at least two green, seven crimson, and five blue charms. With the Ring of Wealth, he will add three crimson and one green. And if you do have the Varrock tasks completed, this will double the base charm drop. Another really useful item for collecting charms is the Charm Drop Enhancer. And this is obtained through the Familiarization minigame. This minigame has no requirements. And you can begin by talking to pickup sticks in the summoning shop in Taverly. And this is just a reward from that mini game. So the charm drop enhancer is an item given for choosing the triple charm drops reward after completing the mini game. And the max time that the enhancer will be active for is 40 minutes, depending on the amount of shards collected during the familiarization mini game. Another really useful item to use is the charming imp. And you buy this from the Dungeoneering Shop for 100,000 tokens. It is pretty much essential if you are trying to obtain charms. It will help so much. It makes it so you do not need to pick up the charms. They will automatically go straight to your inventory. So a super helpful item when you are looking to collect charms. Moving on to the honorable mentions, we have Hellhounds. And I included Hellhounds because they are a great source of gold charms. This is for lower level players as gold charms are only used in the lower level summoning levels. So I couldn't include it in the top 5 monsters for charms list. But it definitely is one of the best for gold charms. And you should be able to get around 350 gold charms per hour if you can kill about 500 Hellhounds per hour which isn't too difficult. The second honorable mention is Mithril Dragons. And these provide an assortment of charms, so you can expect around 100 crimson, 200 green, and 100 gold charms per hour. And this is if you are killing around 120 mithril dragons per hour, which is on average. Uh, you can also get around 20 blues per hour, which is pretty small, but it would add up. Um, so definitely an awesome creature if, if you are looking for this varied assortment of charms. Uh, more for mid-level players. Um, you don't get too many crimson and barely any blue, which is why I couldn't put it in the top 5. Now, starting the countdown at number 5, we have Lava Strike Worms. And so Lava Strike Worms are a Slayer creature, which do require 94 Slayer to kill. And you can kill around 80 Lava Strike Worms per hour, and doing this should net you around 140 blue charms and 72 crimson charms. Lava Strike Worms have a 57-59% to 59 chance of giving you a blue charm and around a 30% chance of getting crimson charms. You also get 3 charms dropped at a time. So it is an excellent source of blue and crimson charms. The only downside about Lava Strike Worms is that they are located in level 34 to 41 wilderness. So you will be risking you know, whatever you're wearing, as well as the charms while you are out there. Um, but another bonus about Lava Strike Worms is that they are very profitable and can make you upwards of 7 mil per hour. And moving on to number 4, we have Dagonoths. And so Dagonoths are especially good for Crimson Charms. You can AFK here, they are aggressive to you for a short while before you would have to come back. Alternatively, you can use the Aggression Potions, and you can expect around 375 Crimson Charms per hour, and that is if you do kill 1,500 Dagonoths per hour. You could probably boost this up to 2,000 if you do bring a Dwarf Multicannon. This is especially good for this method. Um, if you set this up, it will definitely boost your kills and probably give you some more Crimson Charms per hour. And also, the only requirement to kill Dagonoths is the Horror of the Deep quest, so you will need that completed if you are looking to do this method. And moving on to number 3, we have Abyssal Demons. 
So Abyssal Demons require 85 Slayer to kill. Also, you will need 71 Slayer to access the 4th floor of the Slayer Tower, which is the best spot to AFK Abyssal Demons. So for this method, you will want to bring Aggression Potions and Overloads, and also Curses are highly recommended so that you can heal yourself and you won't need much food. Um, I will be linking a full Abyssal Demon Guide in the description down below, um, but it is pretty simple. Um, the main requirements would be curses, so 95 prayer, as well as the quest completed for curses. Also, you will need the aggression potions and overloads or any stat boosting potions would greatly help. And so killing abyssal demons should get you around 400 crimson charms per hour. So definitely good enough to make it to number three on this list. And moving on to number two, we have Water Fiends. So Water Fiends are an excellent source of Crimson Charms. The requirements are pretty much none. You only need one Slayer to kill them, so pretty much no requirement. However, 50 Slayer is required to actually get a Slayer task of Water Fiends. Um, but anyway, to kill Water Fiends, you will really want to use Ranged. They are weak to range and they have high defense in both of the other categories so range is definitely the preferred combat style as you can see you can get around 475 crimson charms per hour and that is if you kill around 600 water fiends per hour which definitely can be done if you are a high level in ranged water fiends are the best source of crimson charms in the game so if you are looking to get some crimson charms you should get them from water fiends also, Water Fiends are located in the Ancient Caverns, which you can get to by going to the Water Pool, um, just south of the Barbarian Outpost. You can also find Water Fiends in the Chaos Tunnels, or Gorok, and also the Wilderness, but the best place to kill them is definitely the Ancient Caverns. It is also important to note that you won't really make much money off Water Fiends. They do drop Water Orbs and Water Talismans, but these are fairly rare drops and they do drop them in low quantities so you probably won't even make enough money to counteract your repair costs for your equipment. Water Fiends are also an excellent source of ranged XP or combat XP. You get around 930 XP per kill in whatever combat style you are using so if you are able to kill 600 per hour this will net you up to 500 550,000 XP per hour. And moving on to number one on the list, we have Corporal Beast. So, Corporal Beast, I just had to put at number one. It is the best source of blue charms in the game. However, you don't get as many crimson charms as the water fiends. So, when killing Corporal Beast, if you kill around 40 per hour, you should expect around 210 blue charms and 100 crimson charms. Personally, I value the blue charms way above the crimson charms, so that is why I had to put Corporal Beast at number one on this list. Also, Corporal Beast is a really nice boss to kill. Uh, a few notable recommendations for Corporal Beast, you need the summers and quest completed. Also, you need to use a spear unless you want to have 50% damage reduced. So a spear is pretty much necessary for this method. Corporal Beast is a really nice boss to do with friends. As you can see here, I'm doing a Corporal Beast mass, and I do get a lot of charms um, while I am killing Corporal Beast as well. So Corporal Beast is a really nice boss to kill for charms. You do get some money off them as well, probably around 2 to 3 mil per hour if you are doing duo. Um, but essentially, Corporal Beast is just a really nice boss that you guys should try out if you are looking to get charms. And anyway, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, hit that like button, and maybe even consider subscribing. Also, if you guys are looking to do some boss masses, and just join a friendly RuneScape community, then feel free to join my Discord. The invite link will be in the description down below. Also, my friends chat is listed on screen now. You can join that by typing in silencedYT. And we're going to be doing lots of boss passes in the near future. So if you are into that, definitely join one of those. But anyway, guys, I really hope you did enjoy the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.